guess what? I've got an unboxing. And I cannot wait to look at it and to show you all what I've gotten. So, let's just get right on into it. Let me get something to open this up with. I've, got, I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while. I've been going back and forth with the idea. And I finally decided I'm going to do it. And you'll figure out why I'm saying this here in a minute. But I'm hoping this turns out really good. I'm really, really excited. I got a journaling Bible. This one's called the My Creative Bible, which is in my most favorite color at this moment in my life, which is fuchsia or bright pink or whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. I love it. And roses, is, I think roses are my favorite flower, so this is beautiful. It's a King James version, which is the version I prefer. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, that's really nice. I cannot wait to get into this. I'm so excited. Okay, let's look at it. Look at it. Open it up. Okay, so. I've been having, I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, but I just couldn't bring myself to wanting to draw pictures in the Bible. But the more I thought about it, the more I, you know, thought this is not the Bible that, um, I'm still going to study out of it. But this is not the Bible that I'm going to do my note taking on. I mean, I can. And I may even do that too. Um, but I'm not, one thing I decided I'm not going to do, and that is to, that feels so good. I am not going to draw on top of the words of the Bible. That is just. I don't know. I just feel weird about that. Man, that feels nice. That looks really good. Oh, so nice. So, this is the creative by my creative Bible. Um, it says, focus. The act of coloring is in itself relaxing and calming and is the perfect way to get your mind ready for your quiet time with God. As you color, you will be encouraged to hone in on the verse before you and its context in Scripture. As you creatively engage in the Word, you will experience a closer relationship with God. Reflect. Coloring the verses will help you to memorize Scripture. As you make journaling a habit, you will be able to see how God has spoken to you through the pages of My Creative Bible. The result will be a deeper and richer understanding of God's Word. Leave a legacy. My Creative Bible is the perfect keepsake to pass on to your children and grandchildren. Not only will they have a precious legacy of interacting with God's Word, but they will also be able to add their own creative creativity to the journey that you have so beautifully begun. And it features a complete King James Version text in single column format, which I really have been wanting a single column format for the longest time, years and years and years, and I've just never been able to do that, get one. So that's another reason why I'm really excited about this. Um, generous 8.65 point type. Plenty of room for journaling, note-taking, and artistic expression in the ruled wide margins. More than 300 designed scripture verses that can be colored in. An index of designed scripture verses. This is by Christian Art Publishers. 
so so I'm definitely going to read in this Bible because that's the whole point um, and I'll probably take notes out of this Bible too but this is not my actual study Bible and so having something that I can do art in and reflect on God at the same time meditating on his word um, is really my goal. I really want to do a better job of studying God's Word. And this is just one form of study, at least in my mind. Um, so let's see. Wow, oh, that's nice. I can't wait to get started. So this is like a cream color. The pages are cream. Oh, how pretty. They are really thin, though. These pages look very thin. Look, at there's some shadowing from just the, just the picture that they've put on there. I don't know if you can see that. So they have books of the Old and New Testaments. This is in alphabetical order, and this is in canonical order. Alphabetical order. And then that's the Old Testament picture. Oh, I love that. <gasps> I love it. Oh, and I like how they have it broken up. Oh, I like that too. I don't know. I may use this even more than I was thinking. I like it. Oh, I like this too. Look at that. They have it broken down. Oh, I'm so glad they did that. But I'm not liking how much you can see the other side. So these pages are like really thin. So I think... I'm going to have to use colored pencil and or use like a clear gel uh, or I'm sorry a clear gesso or I could do a white gesso but then that would be uh, that would turn my pages white and I don't want that when I have the cream so I'm going to go buy some clear gesso I think. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, I love that. And I like that not every page has their pictures on it, so I can go and put on my own pictures. The thing, like I was saying before, I'm going to do as they did here. I'm only going to be doing artwork on the sides. I, I... I just can't bring myself to color onto the God's Word unless the only way I will do it is if I do it light enough to where I can still read it. Because what's the purpose of putting art on your Bible if you can't read your Bible? I mean, why would you why would you color over your words if you can't see it? So that's that's my issue. I just I want to still be able to read it when I'm done. So, I have been watching a ton of YouTubers on Bible journaling. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they've come up with some really good ways of doing this. So hopefully, I'm sorry, I just let me flip through some. Oh, look at that. Second Chronicles. Um, I have a, a bunch of things going on with my Bible study that I haven't actually started. I mean, I do Bible study anyways for uh, the congregation that I'm with. But, just doing my own personal study, I'm off and on on that. And I wanted to be more, more um, purposeful every day instead of just every other day or whatever. I, I want to get 
going on this a lot more than what I've been doing. Let's just say that. Now, I pray every day, no doubt, I pray all the time. But this is just another thing to help me help me get into God's Word more and be even more excited about it. This is really nice. Now, they don't have any... Uh, this is not like your study Bible where you'd have... Um, about the author or about history in that area. This is just the Word of God with art on it. And that's it is what it looks like to me. But just fine. Because I have study Bibles and I don't really need that for this. And really the purpose of this Bible is to, is to meditate on His Word while I'm arting. I'm trying to make sense of God's Word and... Oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay. I'm sure y'all are getting tired of looking at this. But. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start it. Okay, what's in the back? I don't know if I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. But I definitely will be doing a flip through on it when I start doing some pages. Um, index of Design Scripture Verses. So it's telling you what pages and chapters that they're doing the artwork on. So that's nice. Okay. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. And that's St. Matthew or Matthew 28, 20. Oh, this is really nice. I wish you guys could feel this. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. This feels like leather. It could be pleather, I guess. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's a mixture of the two. It feels really good. Let me see what this says. Okay, I was looking to see if it said on here if it was leather. I don't see it. So I'll look that up. But anyways, oh, I'm so excited! And I love this pink fuchsia, and it's got the roses. I mean, my pink ribbons. I love it. I love it. Now I heard, I kept hearing on some YouTubers they were complaining that it was falling apart. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. And let you all know what's going on with it. If it does fall apart though, for surely I'll be able to glue it back. Which I think is what some people are doing. Okay, so that's the first thing that I got. Put that there. And then the other thing I got, I heard great things about this. The Complete Guide to Bible Journaling, Creative Techniques to Express Your Faith, and has a bonus 400 plus stickers, tabs, and more. So hopefully this will help me have ideas on how to journal, different techniques. So I'm excited about this. Oh, I'm so excited. And doodling, which I do need some help with doodling, no doubt. And shady. I'll tell you what. I just made something the other day, and my daughter, who is an artist, she's um, we're trying. She's becoming an artist. She's definitely an artist now, but she's going to college right now to be an artist. Um, and she looked at what I did, and she said, Mom, it, it looks... It, you need to shadow, Mom. You need to shadow. <laughs> and then she used these big technical words, which I'm like, well, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? So she was trying to teach me how to how to do this like this. This looks more like 3D. Where mine was more just bland, cartoonish. So, no, oh, I can't wait to get into this. So this is giving you different techniques. If you use watercolor, I don't know if I'm gonna do watercolor. I just can't. Okay, I'll just have to read and see how she does this. 
So there's that. Different ways. Okay, then here's lettering, which I am very glad about because I need some help with that. I have all right handwriting, but nothing artistic y, you know. I'm sorry if this camera's moving. If you guys could see the setup I have with my camera right now, you would laugh. I was trying to get an angle where you, I could just have it drop down and you all could see it like in this at this angle right here. Well, I've got bungee cords all over the place holding this thing up. <laughs> so I'm sorry if it's moving a little bit because I'm like right in the middle of it trying not to touch it. See, if I can do, see, I don't, I guess I don't mind doing it like that as long as I can read the words. I want to be able to still read, like that bird right there, I, I don't think I could do it. Because now you're covering up the word of God. And that's like blas blasphemous. I'm not going to cover up the word of God. I'm pretty excited. Okay. Different artists and their different techniques. I can't wait to get into that. Just a flip through. Oh no, that's pretty. Look at that. I like that a lot. I hope I can be that good. See, now that right there, I don't know if I want to do that. That, that is covering up God's Word with black, so there's no way of... You can see the words through the yellow and the colors, but with the black, you're totally covering up God's Word. I just don't see why you would do that. I mean, what's, I mean, this, I don't know how to, to say it, guys. <laughs> it's not right. Look at that. Look how covered up that is. I mean, it's beautiful artwork, but I want to read God's Word, too. I don't want to just, it's like, God's Word isn't good enough. Your artwork is more important. No, that's not going to be what I'm doing. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So here's different things you can do. So, I'm excited to look through this a little bit more. Oh. Different ways to make different things. Okay, here is some things to punch out, or maybe these are stickers. Okay, these are stickers. No? No, these are little things to punch out, I think. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm so excited to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know when I will have a video on what I'm doing. But, I promise you, eventually there will be a video on the work I've done. Good or bad, I will show my bad work along with my good work. But that's not the important part. The important part is getting into the Bible, reading it, studying it. really dwelling on God's Word, meditating on it. That's the main focus. This is just extra. This really is just extra in helping you get your mind into, into God's, God's Word. I guess those are stickers because I don't see any other stickers. Let's see. Okay, they are stickers. 
Okay, so those look like tabs or something. So I'm going to figure all this out. I just wanted to show you all that. So I hope you enjoy it. If any of you Bible journal, I would love to hear from you. Because it's like I said, I've never done this before. What's your thoughts on covering up God's Word? Um, and do you have this creative Bible and how do you like it? I would love to hear from you. So, um, that's it for this video. If you have any comments, please comment below. And if you like, please like, push the thumbs up button. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see about this. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, just, uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. And if you want to see more of me doing some Bible journaling, let me know. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'm brand new at this, I know. And I know some videos are not the greatest, but I'm learning. And I just hope you guys can um, be patient with me as I learn how to, how to get through. And one of these days, I'm going to have a good, I'm going to have some great, great videos. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have some uh, great crafty happiness every day. Just do some, some crafty stuff. Get into God's Word too. Number one, read God's Word. And you will have a more fulfilled life, no doubt. Alright, bye guys.